Good morning and welcome to morning prayer. The world belongs to God, the earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful to live together in unity. Love and faith come together, justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these stones will shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. So we enter now a time of confession as we begin our worship together. Holy God, maker of all, have mercy on us. Jesus Christ, servant of the poor, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, breath of life, have mercy on us. So in silence, let us call to mind and confess our faults and admit our frailty. Before God, we confess to our brokenness, to the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive us, Christ renew us, and the Spirit enable us to grow in love. Amen. Our reading this morning is Jesus the Good Shepherd, which comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, beginning at verse 1. So let us listen to the words of Christ our Saviour. Very truly, I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. So let us sit in silence and reflect on those amazing words. Jesus, thank you for the rich variety of ways you speak to us. Thank you for the image that we are your sheep and that you are both the gate and the shepherd. Thank you that the image of a shepherd brings to mind pictures of care and provision and that the shepherd will do so much for their sheep. Thank you that you know us by name. Thank you that you are a God who speaks. I pray that we will be people who listen to you and follow your voice. 
And we thank you that you are the good shepherd and that you laid down your life for your sheep. We move on now to the examine, which is something we do most days to centre our lives on Jesus. So I encourage you to look at your day ahead, to imagine the meetings and the conversations you may have today and lay them before Jesus. And knowing that there will always be the unexpected, let us place Jesus at the centre of everything we do, no matter what happens. Today is a fresh day. It is a good day because you have made it. Therefore, it is full of possibilities and hope. Jesus, you are our source. Help us to live the day with you in the centre. You call us together as your body. Help us to share the day well with others. Yours is a revolution of love. Help us to share good news with the last, the lost and the least. Our gospel reading today called to mind both the love and the care and the provision of Jesus, but also the warning of the gate we are to enter. So let's sum up those thoughts and our reflections with the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. We go in peace to love and serve. We will seek peace and pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God in community, holy and one. Amen. I hope you have a truly blessed day today. I pray that you will keep Jesus, the Good Shepherd, at the centre of everything you do today. And we will look forward to worshipping with you tomorrow morning.